Class, all stand up. Hands up. Clap one, two, hands down. Okay. We have Igbo language. We have what? Igbo language. Our topic says the use of na as a prefix to verb in present tense. Class, repeat after me. The use of na as a prefix to verb in present tense. This is na ne ana. The use of na as a prefix to verb in present tense. Remember, there are five uses of na in Igbo language. I will have explained one the other day. The first one is na is used as a prefix to a first person pronoun. I in Igbo. Example, anam abia. Hmm? The second one where we use na is this one. The use of na as a prefix to verb in present tense. Hmm? For example, you have ona abia. Ona abia. Another place where we use na in Igbo as a conjunction. G na ede. Hmm? Meaning yam and koko yam. You, we use na also in reported speech. Hmm? We use na also in preposition. Preposition mbuzo. Today let us look into the use of na as a prefix to verb in the present tense. Yes. Remember, before you we use na in present tense, na must be hyphenated. Na must be hyphenated. It must be hyphenated. Na. Hmm? Na must be hyphenated. For example, Igbo, English. Number one example. Let us see it. Oh, na, abia. Oh, na, abia. Look at na. Look at na, na. It's a prefix to this verb, abia. Before the na. Between the na and the verb, abia. You, there is a hyphen between them. There is a hyphen between them to show that it is in present tense. That is what we mean by that they now. When we want to use it in, in present tense, it must be hyphenated like this. You must put hyphen. Example, honor, Abia. Look at the hyphen. Look at now as a prefix to this verb. Mbakunye. Mbakunye nganihu means prefix. Mbakunye nganihu. Hmm? Ona abia meaning she is coming. She is coming. Let's see another example. Sentence number two says, Ona a me mbotum. Ona a me mbotum. Ona a me mbotum. Meaning, he is making a noise. He is making a noise. Look at the hyphen. That is what you mean by the na must be hyphenated. You must put hyphen between the na and the, the verb. Eh? This na is a prefix to this verb with hyphen to show that it is in present tense. If you see the person, the person is doing that action hmm? at the same time, immediately. That is what we mean by present tense. Something that if you look at the person that very time, the person is doing it, is, is performing the, 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 the activity that time. Hmm? Another example. Ego na achi ochi. Ego na achi ochi. Ego, a name of a girl in Igbo. Na achi ochi. Na achi. This is na as a preface. Na what here as a preface to this achi. Achi. That is laughing. And look at the hyphen. 
to show you that it is in present tense. When na is working as a prefix to a verb in present tense, it must be hyphenated. That's what we mean. We must put hyphen between the na and the, the verb. Hmm? Ego na achi achi, meaning ego is laughing. Another example where na is working as a prefix to a verb. The first one, the first sentence says, Ona eri unri. Ona eri unri. You can see na here as a prefix to eri mm, with hyphen mm, to show you that na here is working as a prefix eh, to this uh, verb. In present tense. Hmm? Ona eri unri. She is eating. The fifth one says, Hana agu egu. Hana agu egu. Hana agu egu. They are singing. They are doing what? Singing. So, we want you to know that if you want to know where na is working as a prefix, to a verb in present tense, the now must be hyphenated, like we have earlier said, honor with hyphen to the verb. You know that now is working as a prefix to a verb. Hmm? Okay, like and share our videos, subscribe to our channel, follow us for more. You are free to ask any question where you are confused under the comment section bye for now share our videos follow us for more